B. Gone. Bad blonde one. Don't be so hostile. It's not a good way to start your day. Take an example from Lulu. See how happy she is, chatting up customers, big dumb smile on her face. I bet she even has a song in her heart. Take it from a woman who knows I could only mean one thing. Lulu had a night of mind-blowing sex last night. My money's on Logan. What do you think? Can you see three things wrong with this picture? Lulu's never been big on food service. She's probably one of the worst waitresses to ever darken Kelly's door. And trust me, there have been some doozies. But she's getting all the orders right. That practically never happens. All smiley and bright. Yeah. Lulu definitely got her world rocked last night by Logan or somebody else. I mean, I can't really think of another candidate. There's always Milo, but I doubt he jumped to the front of the line. That would only leave you. You're not holding out on me, are you, Spinelli? The jackal doesn't speculate on what the blonde one does in her personal life. What she does and whoever is fortunate enough to do it with her is none of my business. And it is certainly none of yours. Don't get all huffy. It's not like I'm spreading gossip or anything. I'm just helping you come to terms with the painful reality. That's enough. Move along. Excuse me? Stop harassing Spinelli or you're going to be wearing this coffee. Whatever. I was actually commiserating with Spinelli. I actually care about the poor dupe's feelings. Unlike you, Miss Glowing from Within. What was that bitch tormenting you about? The bad blonde one takes any and all opportunities to torment the jackal. It's nothing new. It was about me, wasn't it? Maxie's hurting you is Maxie's way of getting back at me. I, I appreciate your concern, but I I don't really pay attention to the dark nuggets that fly out of the witchy one's perpetually moving mouth, so you don't need to waste your valuable concern on me. You can't stop me from caring about you, and obviously one of Maxie's arrows hit its mark, because I can tell that you're upset. No, no, no. The fair Lulu misunderstood. See, I wasn't upset. I was just... I, I was outraged at the falsehoods she was perpetrating, is all. Tell me what that lying tramp was saying about me, because I'll go over there and shut her up myself. Your, your impulse to protect me touches me to my soul, but I, look, you can't... Uh, you can't stop Maxie from saying what she wants to say, and how I deal with it is my problem, not yours. And anyway, I'm sure you have many other things that are demanding your attention. Why do I get the feeling there's something you're not telling me? Hey. Hey. Mind uh, It's never stopped you before. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to sit someplace else. No, I don't think that's necessary, right, Spinelli? Wherever the Krabby Commando sits is not up to the jackal. I'm actually really glad that Logan's here because now you two have the opportunity to make peace. My boyfriend doesn't know I was visiting Logan, and I'd really like to keep it that way. Then don't tell him. But no, no, no. Uh, I left a bracelet inside that Coop gave me, and I need to get it back. I take it Coop's the boyfriend. Yeah, and I have to get it back before he notices it's missing. It's illegal for me to let someone into the apartment without authorization. And um, I don't see why I should break the law, because you have man problems. What's wrong? Um, I might be really excited by your enthusiasm if I wasn't thinking you're trying to prove something. Like what? I don't know. I haven't figured that part out yet. Look, all, all I know, Lulu, is I don't ever want you to leave here, you know, doubting us or feeling like you've made a mistake. No, this, this is not a mistake. You've proven that to me every single time that you have been considerate of my feelings, even when you're baffled by them. Every time that you take a step back and you let me set the pace. You don't have to save me, Logan. Not from you and not from myself. I'm very clear on what I want. Okay. So you know what you want. But do you know where you want it? <laughs> I'm shaking your eyes. For one reason. Just to make you laugh. Sometimes the 
it scares me how easy it is to be with you. I don't know. Some part of me is kind of waiting for the other shoe to drop. Well, that's not going to happen. I've got both feet planted firmly on the floor here. You are the girl for me. 